Hello everyone, you're welcome to Jam Vibes. Guys, there is something seriously ongoing in the Senzo Meiwa's case. There were some allegations at some point that Kelly Kumalo had, you know, communication with um, some of the accused people in the Senzo Meiwa's murder case, right? But of recent, apparently this thing has been debunked already, given to the fact that the defense denies entire communication between Kumalo and the accused in Meiwa's trial case. Guys, things are getting even more and more complicated with time. But guess what? I'm here to give you every single detail about what is happening on ground right now. So make sure to stay glued and watch this video right up to the very end. Before I give you the information proper, kind of do well to follow Jump Vibes, please. Like this video, drop a comment, and above all, share this video with all of your friends and loved ones. In the ongoing trial regarding the tragic murder of Senzo Meiwa, the defense vehemently refutes any suggestion of communication between the renowned footballer's former partner, Kelly Kumalo, and the third accused, Ntobi Sim Trube. This denial is rooted in the disputation of one of the purported confessions attributed to the second accused, Bongani Tanzi. Within this confession, Kumalo is purportedly implicated as the individual who orchestrated the fatal attack. Tulani, counsel for the defense, endeavors to substantiate this rebuttal by highlighting alleged phone numbers linked to Kumalo. Of course, the same Tulani contends that there exists no evidence of communication between Kumalo and Tube, specifically on the fateful day of Meiwa's untimely demise, on October 26, 2014. However, the prosecution counters this assertion by referencing prior evidence suggesting Kumalo's possession of multiple cellular devices. Addressing the courts, Mr. Tolani presents the aforementioned numbers asserting, and I quote, Here are numbers ending 358 and ending 498. Those are numbers for Kelly Kumalo. And I have an affidavit of it by Kelly Kumalo to assert that those were the numbers she was utilizing on the day Senzo Meiwa was slain. Of course, the same man underscores the voluminous nature of the evidence, emphasizing the complexity of analyzing over 300 pages. Acknowledging the magnitude of the task, the same man, the same attorney, the same defense, offers to adjourn proceedings allowing the opposing counsel an opportunity to review the extensive documentation. Furthermore, the actual defense headed by Tulani critiques the relevance of the testimony provided by Goose expressing skepticism regarding its utility in the court's room. Then, this was actually said and I quote, I will contend at a later juncture that the evidence you have presented from 2018 to 2021 lacks pertinence in this court. There exists no communication, be it through SMS or WhatsApp, that can establish a nexus between the accused parties for nefarious purposes, particularly concerning the demise of Senzo Mihiwa, as Serge Tulani. He underscores the absence of incriminating communication indicative of malicious intent among accused individuals. Kelly Kumalo happens to be that one person who has definitely been at the center of critique ever since Senzo Meiwa passed away. Should I say it is definitely wrong for people to criticize Kelly Kumalo? Guys, I'm going to be taking it on two ways. Firstly, it is wrong for people to criticize Kelly Kumalo in such a way. Okay, on the other way, it is right for them to criticize, Kelly, uh, to, to criticize Kelly Kumalo in such a way. Let me start with it is right. Firstly, it is right because Kelly Kumalo speaks little or less about Senzo Meiwa's situation. Even of recent, Kelly Kumalo has already, you know, cut off her interest in even watching the Senzo Meiwa's case. Say that is very much exhausting. She wants to move on with her life, right? And this was done in one in a recent interview that uh, she definitely had. 
and uh, everybody was left in shock. She said she doesn't even watch Senzo Meiyua's case no more. So, given to the fact that firstly she was Senzo Meiyua's girlfriend, everybody expects that Kelly Kumalo should be very active in the case and should speak everything that she knows. Secondly, the fact that Senzo Meiyua actually was shot at her home, I mean her mother's home in Fosloros, which is by extension a home, of course, because Senzo Meiyua went there so he could actually see her, right? So, they went there and then he was shot at that home, then rushed to the hospital where he passed away. Those are already two instances. Also, there was, I don't know if it was Longwe Twala or Mtokozisi Twala who went to court and revealed that on that day, Kelly Kumalo was really restless, moving up and down, looking across the window and stuff like that. And then out of a sudden, from the blues, some people came in from nowhere, which are alleged hitmen. And then, you know, they started threatening and they pulled the trigger on Senzo Meiwa. That is actually how he passed away. So all of these things are actually a cause for concern. They are calling attention on Kelly Kumalo. Hence, many people are asking themselves, okay, my dear... Why aren't you talking? Should we talk about the fact that it was even revealed at some point that Kelly Kumalo was using Senzo Meiyu as a vehicle after he passed away to the point where Senzo's mother was even in disagreement with it. But then again, she said that Senzo is the father of her child. Hence, she's, titled to, she's entitled sorry, to use his assets, like his vehicles. And then even the point where she refused to give the... The, the clothes and the ID card is very alarming. And at the end of the day, she gave the ID card, if I'm not mistaken, but didn't give the clothes. So to today, nobody really knows really what happened about the clothes, right? Now, why is it wrong? Kelly Kumano is a human being, guys. Imagine that all of these allegations have been posed upon her for close to a decade. How do we expect her to take it? She's definitely going to be breaking. She's definitely going to be having a hard time. She has children, guys. She literally has a family. She is a human. She has a heart. I mean, you know, when we throw tantrums at somebody, how do we feel? How do we expect the person to feel? Now, what if Kelly Kumalo comes out tomorrow that she's innocent? She, she didn't actually do all of the things that she's accused of doing. What happens? Are we going to apologize to her? And even if we apologize to her, what about the so many years of pain that she has been through? Are we going to take that away from her life too? So sometimes we have to be very skeptical and technical in the way we do our things. Because right now, even the law says you are innocent until proven guilty. There have really been no proof to show that Kelly Kumalo is responsible or has a hand in Senzo Meiyu was passing. So far, nothing. And it's been how many years already of intense investigation, research, and court cases. But then again, Kelly Kumalo's name keeps coming up with no evidence all the time. Don't you think it's high time to look in a whole different direction? Don't you think Kelly Kumalo is pretty much innocent don't we think because i remember even zandile kumalo that's kelly kumalo's sister at some point revealed that everybody be looking only at the kumalo's home state but what if for a second they look a little bit at madison kize that is kelly kumalo uh, senzo meiyu's wife like what if for a second just for a second people look into that direction even to the fact that some critics even on the socials i read one comment some time ago i forgot where i saw the comments where somebody was more or less like it's really absurd to be so chilled knowing fully whether your husband is chilling with somebody else right but we cannot be so sure to that she was chill probably she was always you know talking about this in their home and stuff like that so at the end of the day we really can't be judgmental because we can't be right we can't be wrong until the right thing is out there until somebody is proven guilty right so guys i plead with each and every one of us to really calm down with kelly kumalo's situation she's been dropping songs back to back dropping tons upon tons of videos let's go to her channel stream her songs go to her social media platforms like her posts follow her show her love right because she deserves love now more than ever she deserves support now more than ever she is a human being too i don't want to be so long about all of this already i love you all so dearly do all to take good care of yourselves and yo see you in our subsequent upload guys